A historic church in Buffalo has been a fixture in the community for more than 100 years. But now it's up for sale with a hefty price tag and not because the congregation is getting smaller. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore has the story. The stained glass windows that surround the Delaware Avenue Baptist Church paint a picture of deep faith and rich history dating back to 1894. But maintaining a large landmark like this comes at a price. Insurances and the utilities and all to, to run a place like this is uh, pretty taxing. Uh, and that's why this congregation is looking for a new house of worship and why this church is now on the market for $895,000. We'd like to do more ministry. Uh, we'd rather give it to uh, places of need instead of uh, uh, national fuel or places like that. Reverend Michael Robinson says the 300 member church can no longer afford to maintain the century old three story building long term. Right now the roof needs more than $300,000 in repairs because of damage from the rain. Who wants to move? Yeah, <laughs> who wants to move? You know, moving is traumatic, I always say. Uh, but the uh, um, the need is there now. Unlike a lot of churches that are closing their doors, membership at Delaware Avenue is actually on the rise. And with more people comes a greater need for parking, which this location can no longer accommodate. They put up the Baptist Manor behind us that kind of uh, choked off our parking uh, possibilities. The city has allowed the congregation to park along this busy stretch of Delaware Avenue, but Reverend Robinson says there's still not enough parking. Meanwhile, the Delaware Avenue Restoration Corporation is setting up a fundraiser in efforts to save the structure. This building just means, I think, too much not only to uh, the people who have attended uh, services here over the years, but certainly, you know, everyone in the neighborhood. This congregation now relies on a prayer and a lot of faith that soon there will be a brighter day. On Delaware Avenue, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.